In today's video, I'm going to be a demo model for the Dyson Air Wrap as well as the Dyson Air Straight. I hope you like this video and watch my others. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank 
But slow is always important because that's how you're going to get the good tension and heat onto the hair. Okay, so almost 100% dry. I'm leaving just a little bit of moisture in the end, not very much. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the curling hair. That's this one here. Okay, so this goes in. Now this is going to finish the drying process. It's going to end first. So it's still using hair, not hot metal. And then I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to hold it there for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'm going to use the cool shot button here, cold air, just like we did with the straightener. And then I'm going to turn it off and take it down. And that's how you have the problem. So see, we're getting it nice and smooth. All the way down to the end. Hello. Okay, so almost all the way dry on the end. Then I'm going to switch to the curling barrel. And with this, we're going to hold the hair with about four inches hanging out at the ends because the ends are what attach to the machine first. They aren't 100% dry. They're mostly dry, but not 100% dry. Her hair is naturally curly, so I take it a little drier than I would if the hair was naturally straighter or wavier. But we're going to go ahead, let the ends wrap first. Like that, the ends go on first, utilizing the airflow, and then we're going to roll it up, and we're just going to hold it there. Just hold it there, about 10 to 15 seconds. It's going to complete the drying process, and also it's going to get the heat onto the hair, which is going to create the look. We're drying the look into the hair, we're not burning it into the hair. So it's a lot safer and easier. After the 10 to 15 seconds, we are going to pop up the on-off button into the cold shot mode. The cool air is going to help to uh, lock in the style and seal the cuticle. And then when we're ready, we're going to shut the machine completely off and pull it down, and then we have our machine. The only attachment we, we make for air out that's always used on dry hair. What this is going to do is this is going to help Perfect finishing tool, also great for touch-ups. I am avoiding her curls because I don't want to take them out. So what I do is I first do a pass or two with hot air, and then I turn the air to cold. Once again, you're utilizing that cold air. Going from hot to cold when you're blowing out your hair will always help to seal the cuticle of the hair, which helps prevent frizz and helps to promote shine. The Air Straight, which is our newest hair care product. This is a blow dryer that dries and straightens the hair at the same time. So you don't need to use a separate brush. Um, as with all of our 
styling products, but do not use excessive heat, so it's definitely better for the health of your hair. So we're going to turn the machine on here. It goes to a self cleaning mode to start. Then we're going to select wet or dry. So her hair was wet, so we are going to put it on the wet selection. I'm going to choose my fan speed, low or high, for curly hair. I definitely want it to be on the higher setting. And then I'm going to set my temperature. You have three choices, 175, 230, or 285 Fahrenheit. We always recommend starting low and working your way up. However, I know with curly hair that the 285 is probably going to work best for me. So you can pre-dry the hair by closing it, locking it, and then you can just do a little bit of a pre-dry. Depending on the texture of your hair, so it's going to determine how much of this that you do. With straighter textures, you can do more of a pre-dry, get a little rootless. But with curlier textures, we're just going to kind of hit the root a little bit and then really concentrate more on using uh, tension to get the hair straight. So I'm going to set this down. We're going to work in horizontal sections. We don't want them to be too wide because we want to make sure that all the hair is given even heat distribution. The tension is provided by these rods here, which take the place of a brush in a traditional blowout. And we're going to go right into the root, nice and slow. And we're going to go slowly. This is important because you want to make sure you're getting proper tension and heat onto the hair. And we're going to also pay attention that we follow through all the way to the end because we don't want to leave them out. So normally it's going to take about three to four passes in order to get the hair completely dry. That's going to depend upon your hair type, of course. But this is just an easy, easy way to get the hair smooth and straight without having to put in all the work. And it seems like this is three passes, maybe four. Sometimes you do want to make sure that the hair is 100% dry, especially when the weather is humid outside because if the hair is not completely dry, the minute you step outside, it's gonna poof up and frizz up again. So you just wanna really make sure for certain that the hair is 100% dry. So after passing with the heat, I do have the option to use the cool shot, which I definitely recommend. So you can turn with this blue dot here, you're gonna put the cold air, and then by using cold air, it's gonna to help to seal down the cuticle of the hair, promoting shine and preventing frizz. And that's that, simple as that. This back section of hair, I'm going to turn the machine back on. It goes through its cleaning mode. It has a self-cleaning mode, the first of its kind for Dyson. Then we're going to the mode selector, the next button up. We have two choices, wet or dry. Mostly we will be using... Oh, I went to idle mode. It does go into an auto pause if you wait too long. Okay, so we're gonna go and make sure it's set on wet because her hair is wet. Mostly you're gonna be using air straight on wet hair. The dry mode is available for touch-ups. So once we have our temperature set, I'm setting her at 285, then we're gonna go right ahead in with the tension rods at the root and make our three to four passes through the hair to get it dry. So just go right into the root and we're going to make three to four nice low passes so that the heat and the air can get onto the hair. But as with all of our blow dryers, the air straight is not going to exceed 302 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit on the wet mode. This means you are never going to be using excessive heat. You need some heat to get the hair styled, but we avoid using excessive heat, instead relying on technology and airflow. Very important to make sure that the hair is 100% dry. Sometimes it might look dry, but you really gotta feel it. If you feel moisture in there, just give it another pass. It's very important because we don't want it to revert once we go outside in the hot weather. So air straight, um, free to look that we refer to as natural straight. It's not necessarily sweet straight like you would get with a flat iron. That's because we are not using hot metal on the air straight. We are using airflow. The plates inside of the air straight are not heating up from the inside out. They're heat they only get hot because of the air that's passing over them. So it is much better for the health of your hair um, than other hot tools out there. Not just get the trick. Very simple.
That's why I didn't, I didn't want to address you guys the right way. Oh, okay, so I'm going to have to do something. What's important? Right, right, right. Please wait. Thank you. Have a good day. Good luck. Thank you. 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 Good luck. Thank you